Pleasure now to be uh, joined by one of my uh, Sonoma County counterparts, uh, Zach Tiedemann, of course, Zach, though, starring for the HSU Lumberjacks this year. Uh, former player now, how does that sound? Former Lumberjack, at least. It's weird, uh, you know, uh, coming to school now and knowing that I don't really have any, uh, too much responsibilities to the program as itself, you know, showing up on time the weights or anything. Um, it's kind of funny, actually, all the seniors still are kind of on that routine still. We all go in the weight room, uh, play open gyms, get shots up. So uh, I think we're kind of, uh, kind of not knowing what to do with ourselves right now. That's a strange time. I imagine uh, probably most of your life. I've, you probably started playing when you were four or five, CYO something as a young man, and it's always been season and this and that. And uh, so coach getting on you, at least since you've you know been in high school with Coach uh, Fitchy, and now it's you're on your own, big boy. Yep, it's, uh, it's a lot different. Uh, definitely, but um, it's kind of a habit I've I've been in all my life is just you know playing sports, staying active. So I'm going to continue to do that um, even if I'm not playing uh, anymore at a at a high level. But I'll continue to keep playing just because I love the game. Okay, so of course you, you love to play and you're going to continue to play. I'm sure pick up and places like that. But having that said, you're a heck of a player, and a lot of HSU players have gone on to play at uh, all sorts of different levels of basketball. Is there a future? for uh, Zach Tiedemann outside of uh, playing pickup? I hope so. You know, that's what uh, my next kind of step is. I'm trying to continue to play um, somewhere overseas. Um, right now, it's kind of a process. We just kind of wait and see. Um, hopefully, I'll find out by about summertime. OK, well, now your brother played overseas, right? Yep, he played in uh, Spain last year. Um, he actually ended up te tearing his Achilles at the mm -hmm. end of last year. So he had a long recovery, and he's back to full strength. And he actually over in Spain right now with a trial with his old team. Uh, so Make he's sure doing that. that. Achilles is back in shape. Now, what, what's the process like? What does it take to go from Humboldt County, California, to, you know, getting overseas? We know Grayson Moyers over there, Kevin Johnson, Austin Nichols has had a ton of success. Uh, Fred Hooks has played all over the world. What's that next step from going, you know, from Lumberjack Arena to uh, continuing somewhere overseas? Uh, well, there's a few different things you can do. Um, the first thing is probably the easiest way to get over there is signing an agent because uh, they got a lot of connections over there, uh, which helps a lot. And there's also a lot of uh, kind of all-star games, um, showcases that you can also try to get into. So uh, those are kind of the two options that you can go around of um, keeping playing. And speaking of all-star games, you got a chance to play in the uh, Division II all-star game. And uh, what was that experience like? Go back to uh, Springfield. I'm sure it's mixed emotions because you knew you wanted to go to Springfield. Problem is you wanted to go with the rest of your teammates, not uh, other all-stars from around the country. Definitely. I was fortunate to actually get to go to Springfield and check it out. Um, it, was, it was actually real weird watching Pomona play, and I just had to be a spectator knowing my college career is over. But the, as in the all-star game, the all-star game was great. I uh, met a lot of cool guys, a lot of guys I'll probably keep in touch with, um, and also a lot of good players. You got to just play with the best best players uh, in the country at the Division II ranks. So, so how'd you match up? Did you feel that, uh, you know, you were in the right, you know? Because I'm sure it, it's got to be different. You know, you know you're one of the best players, if not the best player in the CC2A. Hence, you were named the Conference Player of the Year, and you see these guys. But I'm sure there's, okay, I wonder what they're doing in Florida. I wonder what they're doing up in Boston. So when you get in there, how would you uh, size up the competition? As we know, Pomona won it all from a team aspect. How, uh, you know, how's the West Coast uh, Division II basketball stack up? Oh, I felt very comfortable when I got there. Uh, at first, you know, you go in not knowing, thinking maybe there's going to be some guys getting ready to play in the NBA or right. something. <laughs> but after a few uh, practices and uh, playing around with the guys, you start to get comfortable and you start to get a little confidence in yourself. And uh, you got a chance to put a little off guard, two from four from beyond the arc. We know you've got that uh, sweet stroke. Was a little strange having to move over there away from the point? Definitely. Um, usually all my life I've had the ball in my hand. I've got to, you know, call the plays out and uh, make plays. Um, the only other time I played the off guard was at Santa Clara for a little while, so uh, I had a little experience in that, but a little different running, running, the lane, running the lane and waiting for the ball to come to you. So your future, is it as a point guard or maybe an off guard? Uh, I definitely think it's as a point guard. Okay. I think my strength is uh, um, kind of setting people up, my basketball IQ, so um, I think I'd be going away from my strengths if I went to the off guard. Got to ask you about Cal Poly Pomona. Here's a team that you're very familiar with. You guys were all in the thick of thing. You tied with them for the uh, regular season championship. Your feelings on watching them run the table at Springfield and really dominate the Elite Eight to a national championship? Yeah, they're definitely mixed feelings. You know, uh, it's kind of disappointing. You never want to see your rival, uh, you know, do well, kind of. But then again, it uh, puts a strong name in our, for our conference and for the West Coast. So um, it's kind of bittersweet. Were you surprised that they won it all? Uh, 
a little bit. I mean, how the fashion they did it. Um, the first Elite Eight game I was there, and they were up 44-16 at one point. And then uh, the Final Four game, they kind of controlled the whole game, and same with the final. So about the manner they went around to doing it, I was more surprised of actually them pulling it off. So comparing, do you think uh, the results would have been the same for the Lumberjacks if you guys could have got there? I hope so. I mean, it's hard to say. You can't really – you got to do it, you know. Uh, but I think we're definitely – this program's definitely – uh, right there. I mean, they're close. We've never uh, had a good run in the last couple of years at it, but I think uh, talent-wise and, and being able to do it, uh, we're really close. Zach, sum up your career, your thoughts. Obviously, you know, at Montgomery High School, you looked at Humboldt State a little bit. You went to Santa Rosa Junior College, and I'm not sure at what point you were still thinking about Humboldt. Went to Santa Clara. I know for all, all kids, we've all been there. It's the dream to go D1. You're at the WCC, and things, for whatever reason, don't work out there, and you do come to Humboldt State. Um, looking back in hindsight, are you happy? Because I know the Lumberjack fans are happy that you made your way to Humboldt State. Oh, I'm definitely happy. This is the, probably the best decision I've made in my life coming up here. Um, sometimes I think about, you know, what if I came up here right out of high school? But then again, yeah, what's up, man? I mean, come on, that'd be great. <laughs> but then again, I probably wouldn't be the same uh, person and player as I was today. So uh, I look at it a couple different ways. But it's uh, been a great two years, and I uh, wouldn't trade it for anything. And at least you didn't follow in your uh, old man's footsteps and go uh, become a uh, Sonoma State uh, player. I got to ask you: after you're done playing basketball, uh, are you still a basketball guy, coaching in your future? Or are you going to go off and uh, attack the stock market? What's your plan? I uh, definitely. I'm a kinesiology major, teaching coaching. So uh, after I'm done, I'm, I want to be a high school coach and PE teacher. Um, but I've kind of recent, more recently thinking about you know helping out the college ranks if I get in there and uh, see what happens. I heard, I heard Coach Kinder's looking for all the help he can get now that he's uh, taken over. Yeah, we'll see. If I, don't, if I don't got any place to play next year, I might be up here. Well, I imagine, uh, Zach, we will uh, be reading about you and have to Google the conversions on how to read you know, German uh, plays or something like that. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Zach. It's, it's been a pleasure having you here on Humble State tonight. The equipment shop at Miller Farms in McKinleyville continues to lead the way in outdoor power equipment on the North Coast. They carry all the gear from Husqvarna chainsaws and tractors to still dependable chainsaws, trimmers, and blowers. Check out Miller Farms for the legendary snapper mowers that are built to last, or choose from a full line of exceptional Honda mowing machines. Be prepared for all seasons with a Honda generator. Whatever your power needs, the staff at Miller Farms Power Shop are there to help on Central Avenue, McKinleyville. Dustin, what are you doing on the field? Lumberjack for life. But you don't play for the Lumberjacks anymore. Look, HSU football gave me and my teammates a great college experience and prepared us for life off the field. By going to hsujacks.com, click on Donate, then click on JFAN, I can give, so you and our future teammates can better experience life as a Jack. And it's so easy, even a football player could do it. Join the tradition of Jacks football. Become a teammate at hsujacks.com.